everybody, Ryan here with a deck review for Hocus Pocus. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bruce Lee cards by Dan and Dave in collaboration with Bruce Lee Enterprises. These cards were designed to commemorate the legacy of Bruce Lee and were released on the anniversary of his birthday in 2013. The first print quickly sold out, so they did a second print with some new quotes on the cards and some modifications to the tuck box. So Bruce Lee is known for his martial arts mastery, his philosophical statements, and his iconic yellow jumpsuit. And this deck pays tribute to all those areas in a clever way. Before we take a look at the cards, let's go over the box. The Mostly Black Tuck Box has an image and shadow of Bruce Lee in a traditional pose. A reproduction of his signature is below that, and playing cards printed in white finishes off the box front. One side is black with a single yellow stripe. The words Bruce Lee and a silhouetted image of Bruce and a jump kick is displayed in white. The other side is yellow and has a black stripe and black images in print. The bottom of the deck has some legal information, websites, and Dan and Dave's logo and a barcode. The top of the box is black and has official playing cards in white print. The tuck flap is yellow and has D&D's website. As far as I can tell, some of the V1 and some of the V2 decks have a yellow deck seal with a clever logo design used on the card backs. One of the versions has a black interior printed with yellow silhouettes of Bruce Lee's famous jump kick. The back of the box shows a face-up deck fanned with a joker and a card back sticking out. A quote at the top reads, A limited mind cannot think freely. There's a brief description of the deck and some information about Bruce Lee at the bottom. So the back design scores high in my book because of the contrasting colors, the image of Bruce Lee on the front, and although the back image is not a full shot of the card backs, you still get an idea about what the cards look like if you choose to leave them sealed. So I couldn't find any information on the stock used for this deck, but I believe they feel similar to a bicycle stock. The back design is very similar to the Dan and Dave Chinatown Game of Death deck, but the center logos are redesigned to incorporate both the D&D logo from the Chinatown deck and Bruce Lee's initials. If turned one way, the back-to-back -back capital D's are apparent. If flipped over, the capital B and L are more clearly seen. Two black dragons rise and curl from the center and make up the majority of the design. Rays emanate from the logo and draw your eye to the middle. A pattern border contains the yellow color and butts against a solid white border. Now the printing is really crisp on these cards. The borders are medium in thickness and pretty consistent all the way around. But because of the center logo, this deck is considered one way. Unlike most decks, the face of the cards have no pips, just indices in the corners. All the card faces, including the aces and courts, feature a full bleed solid yellow background with a single solid black stripe across the center. The theme is obviously based off Bruce Lee's iconic jumpsuit from Enter the Dragon. Each card contains a unique quote printed in contrasting white on the solid black stripe. Except for the Ace of Spades, that card's left blank to symbolize a free mind. The numbers in the corners use a non-traditional font and appear to be more solid and bold. The box states that the deck features 52 inspiring quotes and since the Ace is left blank, an additional card contains a last quote. It's solid white with a yellow silhouette and jump kick pose. The deck also contains two jokers. Again, both are solid white, but instead of a silhouette, there's a photograph in black and white of Bruce Lee in action. The last card's an ad card for Art of Play with their website. So there's no complaints in the handling department. The elaborate design and ties to the famous personality did not take away from the quality of the cards. The soft edges and flexible feel is what you'd expect from any Dan and Dave deck. From a collector's point of view, this deck is a must have. The first edition selling out is a testament to its desirability. The box displays well with Bruce Lee written on both sides and the front. From the cardist point of view, the bright colors and the cool design show up well in flourishes, fans, and displays. The difference in color between the front of the cards and the back of the cards adds some nice contrast as well. The fact that this deck is entirely custom and doesn't have the traditional pip layout or court layouts might make it a little bit hard to incorporate in some magic tricks but on videos and Instagram posts, this deck looks awesome. The subtle one-way design on the back may come in handy as well. So overall, I'm really impressed with this deck. The box, while great in design, doesn't do these cards justice. They need to be open to be appreciated. The contrast between the three colors, black, yellow, and white, is eye-catching, and the dragon artwork ties into the Bruce Lee theme perfectly. If you have this deck sealed, grab an extra one to open, and if you don't own this, it's time to put a few in your cart. So click over to hocus-pocus.com's deck selection. You could find them there as well as some other Dan and Dave decks. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more reviews.